On this episode of Jafito's Movie Vlog, I review the new comedy Super Troopers 2. We're starting right meow. Welcome back to Jafito's Movie Vlog. I'm Jeff Malicki, and on this channel, I bring you movie news, movie reviews, trailer reaction videos, box office predictions, and so much more. If you love movies as much as I do, hit that subscribe button, and then make sure that you hit the little bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. Fired for the previous shenanigans, former Vermont Highway Patrol officers Thorny, Farva, Rabbit, Foster, and Mac get a shot at redemption from Captain O'Hagan and Governor Jessen. The wacky quintet must provide law enforcement for a French-Canadian town that's transitioning to U.S. sovereignty. Their unconventional methods soon get put to the test when they encounter a smarmy mayor, mischievous mounties, a smuggling ring, and a 1,300-pound bear. Super Troopers 2 stars Kevin Hefferman, Steve Lamb, Paul Soder, Eric Stolhansky, and Jay Chandra Sakar. It is rated R for crudest sexual content and language throughout, drug material, and some graphic nudity. So the basic story of Super Troopers 2 is that a gang of Vermont State Highway Patrol troopers from the first film have lost their jobs and started working on a construction crew. But historians find out that the northern border of Vermont has been drawn incorrectly and part of Quebec is actually on U.S. soil. So the Vermont governor sends our gang up to the small town to help keep the peace during the transition. Along the way, there's a drug ring and a bunch of silly antics that go down. I mean, let's be honest here, you're not going to see this movie for a good story. This movie relies heavily on making fun of Canadians, the French-Canadian accent, and the metric system. It does seem like the cast fell right back into their roles and didn't really miss a beat, and in that regard, it feels a bit like the original. But that can also be a little bit of a negative, because it does feel like they hit a lot of the same story beats and a lot of the same comedic beats in this movie. The biggest question that I had throughout the entire runtime was why did it take 17 years for a sequel? And this is the best that they could come up with? In that regard, it was a little bit of a letdown. I think there are some pacing issues in this movie as well. The movie is only 100 minutes long, but it did seem to drag on just a bit at times. But maybe that's because I saw it as part of a double feature. I'm glad I was able to see both movies back to back as part of a double feature on premiere night because, and I might get some hate in the comment section for this, but I have never seen the first Super Troopers in its entirety before tonight. Now, of course, I've seen bits and pieces over the years, but this was the first time that I ever sat down and watched the whole thing front to back in one sitting. And I guess another negative is that it almost does feel like you do need to see the first one before seeing the sequel. There isn't a whole lot of character development and setup. They just kind of drop you right into the middle of things, and they expect you to know the chemistry and relationships between characters. You can certainly see this movie without having seen the first one, but you might be a little bit confused for a while. This movie did deliver a good amount of laughs, and I did at least have a smile on my face throughout the majority of the runtime. A comedy can be forgiven on weak story and weak characters and all that if it makes you laugh, if it's funny. And in that regard, it did do a pretty good job of, of succeeding. I'm going to give Super Troopers 2 a 3.5 out of 5. Now, it is not as good as the first one, but it still has some moments. It's certainly better than some of the other comedy sequels that have come out many years after the first one. It is better than Anchorman 2, Dumb and Dumber 2, Zoolander 2, and I did enjoy this one quite a bit. I think that if you're a fan of, of the first movie, then you'll probably enjoy this one as well. I'm not sure that I can tell you to go ahead and pay full price for an evening ticket, but certainly it is one that you can have a good time with during a matinee with a crowd of fellow moviegoers. If you aren't really a fan of the first one, but are looking for a decent comedy watch, this would certainly be one to pick up from Redbox or when it hits the on demand on the streaming service of your choice. It is one of the better comedies that I have seen recently. And be sure to stick around during the credits because there are bloopers while the credits roll and a post credits scene tacked on at the very end. Have you seen Super Troopers 2 yet? If so, what do you think? What are some of your favorite stoner comedies of all time? Whatever you think, leave a comment down below and let's talk movies. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chiquito's Movie Vlog. You can watch more by clicking right over here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now by clicking that round icon with my picture on it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and then share it with other movie fans in your life. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I will see you at the movies. Bye-bye.